2019's quirky take on survival games Forager took an interesting approach to its items. Unlike other games in the genre in which you pick up items by walking over them, Forager took a page out of Idle Games books and allowed you to pick them up by simply hovering the mouse over them. Let's see how they did it. Let's go though. Two things to note right off the bat. If an item is on screen, it can be picked up, no matter the obstacles or the distance between. And you can still pick up the items just by walking over them, you don't have to use the mouse. First of all, let's prepare our collision layers. Let's go to project settings and search for 2D physics. In layer 1 I'm gonna write world, layer 2 is gonna be player and layer 3 is gonna be item. Now I already have an item scene prepared and you'll notice the root node is actually a character body 2D. Other than that it has a collision shape, it has an animation player and it has this honey sprite. Let's click on item and in the inspector let's set up our collisions. For the layer we're gonna choose the item and for the mask we're gonna choose the player. And this just means this item will only collide once it touches the player. We also have to go down to input and check pickable. This is needed to detect mouse movements. Let's go ahead and add our script. First we gotta get the player because our item needs to know where it has to move to once it's being picked up. And we're gonna do that by using get3 dot get first nodeing group and the group specified is gonna be player. Then we have to set up our constants which is gonna be max speed which I set to 50 and it's gonna be acceleration which I set to 0.5. These are some values that I found that look nice to me but you can play around with them. Then we're gonna set our speed and it's gonna start at 0.0, .0 and we're gonna set is being picked up which is gonna be a boolean and starts with false. Then in the physics process we're gonna check if is being picked up is true, in which case we have to move the item towards the player. First we're gonna calculate speed by using lerp, that is linear interpolation, from speed to our max speed by acceleration times delta. Then velocity is simply going to be a vector from the item's position towards the player's position times speed, so global position dot direction to player dot global position times speed. Then we're gonna call our move and collide function to actually get the item moving and we're gonna pass it the velocity. Notice that we called it outside of the if statement which means the item will be able to be picked up even without using the mouse. Move and collide returns a collision object which in our case will only be returned if the item collides with the player because of the collision mask we set earlier. So we can check if there is a collision and if there is Let's handle that in handle picked up function. And we're gonna implement that now. So in here you would add whatever functionality happens once the item is actually being picked up, like adding it to your inventory. But for now I'm just gonna destroy it from the scene. Now we have to detect when the mouse is hovering over our item and change the is being picked up variable to true. So for that we're gonna click on the item. Over on the right we're gonna go to node tab and we can implement the mouse over signal by double clicking it and pressing connect. This adds a function to our script which will trigger once the mouse is over our item. So in here all we have to do is write is being picked up equals true and that's all we need for our script. And finally we just have to make sure that our player's collision layer is set to player and also if we switch over to the node tab and click on groups our player should be in the player group. And as you can see, if we walk over the items, they're being picked up. And if we hover the mouse over the items, even if there's water or these rocks between the player and the items, they all get picked up. Thank you for watching.